This was uh, the kind of atmosphere, excitement, electricity that you dream about having. And these were two teams that merited that type of attention. Uh, we played hard. BYU played hard. We played okay. BYU played better. Uh, they are a really, really good basketball team. And they showed that again today. This is not the first time they showed it, but they're good. Uh, so are we. Uh, but today, they were a little bit better. They shot, when, when they had to make a basket, somebody made a basket. And it was never the same somebody. And that's a mark of a really good team. Uh, I'm proud of our guys. Uh, the test for us, as is every losing team, is how will you respond, short turnaround, all the things that go into it. But the character we've got, uh, with the three here and the others in the locker room, uh, I feel strongly that uh, we will compete hard in our next game. And hopefully we'll have another opportunity to play them in the conference tournament. Uh, so as disappointed as we are, we know that, uh, that there is a future for us. And we need to say, okay, what did I not do as a coach? What did I not do as a player? And, and, and grasp something that you can learn from it and say, if and when we play them again, if and when we play a team of that style caliber, we'll be better prepared and hopefully have a better outcome. Proud of our team. <clears throat> proud of our fans. Disappointed in our loss. All right, at this time we'll take questions for the student athletes. And again, same drill. Raise your hand and we'll bring the microphone over to you. Right here. Uh, Troy Hirsch with Fox 5. Uh, DJ and Billy, can you start with DJ? Can you uh, express the disappointment that you have in, in the way things turned out or what's going through your mind right now? Um, we're very disappointed uh, of the outcome of the game. Uh, but like Coach said, it's, you know, it was a hard-fought game. Um, they played better. Um, we just have to go back in and learn from it, and hopefully we get another shot. <clears throat> uh, like DJ said, you know, I think the whole team is disappointed the way we played tonight. But, you know, like Coach said, we just got to bounce back, you know, look at film tomorrow, see what we did wrong, you know, <coughs> correct it in practice, you know, and try to move forward. And, you know, don't forget about what happened today. But, you know, we got to move forward and, you know, and just try to stay focused. DJ, after having played them twice now, do you think there's something about the matchups that something about that team that um, is not a good matchup for you guys? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, they just had players step up today and, and knock down the open shots. They shot great from behind the arc, uh, made 14 three-pointers. Um, I think we did a pretty good job on, on Fredette, uh, but they just had guys uh, step up and, and, and knock down shots. Second row. Uh, DJ, can you explain the um, the, the game plan and guarding for that? And uh, just to put a little bit of length on them, uh, you saw Billy, uh, Kawhi, and Chase on them, uh, and just to keep fresh bodies on them, uh, kind of wear them out, make them shoot shoot over the top, uh, double them um, off ball screens, um, and I think we uh, did a pretty good job. <coughs> DJ, is there a frustration like when you guard that closely and they still make those shots, does that make it a little bit harder the next time down the court and then they do it again and again and again? Um, it, uh, it's, it, it's frustrating, of course, um, when they knock, uh, knock down shots um, with your hand in their face or if they just you know, get a wide open look um, and they knock down a shot. But you know, as, as the game goes on, you've got to be able to move on to the next play, uh, and that's what we try to do. Uh, but like I said, they just shot great from the field. Anyone else for the student athletes? Um, Billy, you were you got a lot of for debt today, and it seemed like you had some success against him. Did you feel like you guys were were limiting what you wanted him to do most most of the time? 
I think so. And I, I know that he wants to, you know, uh, try to get into our bodies and try to make us foul him. I think we did a good job today, you know, guarding him. Um, me and Kawhi and Chase, you know, like DJ said, try to keep uh, fresh bodies on him. Um, but, you know, fortunately, you know, we left other guys open, you know, and they made tough shots and sometimes wide open shots. So, you know, uh, we just got to, you know, look at tape, like I said, and try to see exactly what happened and try to correct it next time. At the end here. You guys have seen a lot of Jimmer. Can you talk to how or speak to how he's evolved as a passer? His, their coach was saying his ability to create is getting better and better where he can find the guys after he's double teamed. Um, I think when you're getting that much uh, much attention, uh, you have no choice but to be able to find the open man. When you're constantly getting double teamed and, and pressured and stuff like that, um, you see defensive just collapse um, as he penetrates. And um, and his court vision has gotten better. Uh, he is finding the open man. And um, he has a, a great supporting cast uh, uh, to knock down shots. Troy. As for any of you three, or all of you three, were you surprised as well as they shot the ball today? Uh, a little bit, you know. Uh, if you leave people wide open, you know they they're gonna make it. So you know, um, we just you know uh, we were we were double teaming Jimmer, and you know he found the open man. And, you know sometimes you know he, they were wide open, sometimes they made tough shots. So. <clears throat> Two more questions for the student athletes. Uh, second one. Yeah, uh, DJ, this question for DJ. We've seen limited offense out of you um, against BYU in these two times. Do you look to be more of a distributor when you play them, or is it something about their defense that's tough for you to get around? Um, I noticed they put their best defender on me, uh, Emery, and I think he, he does a great job of, of, of playing off ball and, and playing on ball. And um, I, I sense that, you know, they are giving me attention, which would leave uh, other gaps open for other players. Uh, they make it hard for me to get my three-point shot off. Uh, and once I get past the, the first defender, uh, the second defender steps up um, really quick. So um, going into a game like that, um, I think I should have been more uh, aggressive offensively. Uh, but they did do a good job of, of playing me on the offensive end. Billy, really, um, if you look at how much kind of hype surrounded this game and how excited these students and also the entire town, you know, um, got for this matchup, is it at all deflating given how much emotion that you showed on the court uh, today to walk out of here with a loss? Um, kind of, you know, uh, you know, I think everybody, the whole school and, you know, people are disappointed, but, you know, I know they're going to stay behind us 100%, you know, um, we just got to keep, you know, moving forward. You know, it's not the end of the world. You know, uh, we just got to keep fighting, keep playing hard every night. You know, we got two more games left, and uh, we just got to, you know, like I said, you know, look at the tape tomorrow or, you know, if we watch tape or move on. But, we know, I know our team is not going to forget about this, and, you know, we hopefully we will have another shot in the Mountain West Conference for them. Thank you to the student-athletes. You can return to the locker room. And now questions for Coach Fisher. <coughs> Kawhi, we'll get you a question next time. <laughs> I got it. Steve, uh, I think DJ and, and both, they both referred to um, the number of open shots that you got. In, in doubling Jimmer as much as you guys did, were were you not executing off the ball the way you wanted, or were you basically just daring them to make the shots that they did? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I know that a couple of Herzog uh, baskets, we did not do a good enough job of, we call it stunting, have the next guy in line be up and try to say, is he, is he going to switch and run to him? I thought we did a better job in the second half and yet it seemed as every time when when they move that ball and and one one more pass they had a guy that that was shot ready and when that ball hit his hands he had the ball up they made some they made some shots that uh, that were hardly that were hard contested 
They made some shots that were, were flying at them. They made shots. They did make some open shots. But uh, they made some shots that, did, if you go back and look at the film, I, I, I would think that some of them were, as you say, hats off to you for, for having the toughness to take it and then make it. And that's what good teams do, and they're, they're better than a good team. They're a terrific team. Second row. Uh, Steve, your, your offense seemed to bog down at times against their zone. Were you disappointed in the, in the execution against their 2-3? I thought we had all sorts of looks that we weren't able to, to bring to closure with. Uh, not unlike the first game. I don't know how many times we had that ball inside and we couldn't get it to go in. Uh, now, they're men out there. They're big guys, and, and they contested every shot. There was no gimmies in that game. But we had looks. Uh, against the zone, usually it takes you a little longer to get that look, but we had a lot of good looks uh, and didn't make enough of them. Coach, from what you've seen of BYU, both on tape and in person this season, have you ever seen them play better than the two games they played against you guys? Well, that would probably be unfair to everybody they played. Uh, I told our team, BYU's Final Four good. And I think, I don't know that our guys like to hear that. And then I said, we are too. Today, they were the better team. And they were. No excuses. They made plays. They made shots. I thought we had opportunities when we closed the half with a 15-6 to six run. Uh, and we just were never able to... I don't know that we ever had a lead in the, in the second half. Uh, you know, they go up eight. We get two straight baskets. But you have to, against a team that good, you have to be able to make important plays. And we had several of them, two too many to mention, where it looked like, well, we're going to get that interception, and all of a sudden it goes off our hands, and they get it and shoot in a three. We got the ball, we're going to get a basket, all of a sudden they come in, deflect it away, or we miss it, and they go down and get a basket. Uh, that's what winning is all about, and uh, that's what they did today, very, very effectively. Second row. Coach, as you probably know, they scored more than half of their points from beyond the arc. Uh, when a team is shooting like that and they have a point guard like Jimmer, are they beatable? How do, you, how do you take them out of their game? You have to make shots yourself. I mean, a team, if you're going to be, if you're going to play toe to toe with them, you have to come back and 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 also make shots. Uh, they're they were good, and they they every time we kind of crept up to them, they would make a play or two to, to put the spread back up again. And we'd fight like crazy to get a couple baskets and get a deflection and a steal and one roll off and they'd go down and score a basket. Uh, whether they shoot 14 for 24 or not, they are going to be a very, very difficult out for anyone in the NCAA tournament. I don't care who it is. They're that good. That got it? One more quick question. Uh, you mentioned the, the uh, mark of a team is how they respond to a loss like this. How do you think your team will respond to this? The same way we always have. Same way we did last time we lost to them. Uh, it'll be harder because we're playing on the road. Uh, I love our team. We've got really, really good people with character. Uh, if it, if it doesn't burn and hurt, then something's wrong with them. It does. That's all we'll be thinking about tonight. But we have more work to do. We, we've got what most people, as, it, as it'll start to unfold, will say is the most important season ready to, to play, and that's the, the tournament. Now, we've got two games, hopefully three games, before the NCAA tournament. But... Uh, we will come back, you know, the, the resiliency of youth is always good. Forgive, but don't forget. Don't forget what happened. Don't forget what happened. So I think it's been a long time since we've been back-to-back -back with losses, and, and our goal and pride will hopefully allow that to continue on.